you going, my friend? How are you? What's your name? I'm John. John, good to meet you, John. Okay, so I've got this sign here. Yeah. It says, live auctions, uh, the slave trade. Prove me wrong? Yeah. Um, are you able to prove me wrong on that? Right, well, you've got to, first of all, your sign is a bit confusing because when people see that, they immediately think, they say slave trade, they immediately think human trafficking. Interesting. So are you referring to human trafficking? Are you talking to livestock sales? Yes. Yeah. You're talking livestock. I'm talking about livestock. Right, well, then you're talking you... about cows, pigs, yeah. chickens. Right. So if we stopped all that, yeah. That's not what I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not asking whether or not we stop it. I'm asking whether you think it's slavery. Well, in what way would you say slavery? I mean, are you talking about slavery for the animals, slavery for the people involved? I'm talking about are the animals victims of slavery? I wouldn't say so, no. Okay. And, well, and why is that? They're, they're bred for a certain reason. Okay. Whether they be... Um, so they're bred for that purpose, so therefore it doesn't make it slavery? Not necessarily. It's the way they're treated. I mean... Are they treated as property? Yeah, they're treated as property, but then there's different ways of treating them, whether you... Like, for instance, battery hens. So you're talking about yeah. welfare? Yeah. But does, well, you, can, welfare. you can treat your slaves well as well? Well, no, they're not. Oh, would you count them as slaves? I would, yes. Why? Because for the same reason that you would count a human being as a slave, mm -hmm. uh, they are sentient, they value their freedom, they value their family, yeah. they, they value their right to life, uh, they don't want to be exploited and harmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those same reasons, I would consider that slavery applies in the animal context as well. Because you agree they, they have all those... They values? Have, yep, they have all those values, but then also you've got to look at the broader picture. I mean, for instance, how would you change it? That, that's a practical issue. I'm talking yeah. about that in principle, is it slavery? In principle, yes, but okay. also in principle, no. It's a grey area. Why uh, is it grey? You look at, for instance, the livelihoods and also what they're sold, what their, their purpose is, whether they be cows for milking, what was black people's purpose for whites uh, when they were enslaved? To pick cotton for them. So if they have a purpose, does that not make it slavery? But that is a different matter. Uh, if you look at history... I'm saying if... if hold, on, hold on, hold on. If you look at history, the first person in America to have black slaves was a black woman. Would you say that was wrong? Yes, yeah. 100%. It doesn't matter who the victim is of slavery. But then, once they eventually abolished slavery... A lot of the slaves, who are ex-slaves, went back to the fields for a wage. What has that got to do with, in, with slavery in and of itself? I'm saying, I'm looking at, it at a whole yeah. conflict. I, what, what, I, made the, I made the correlation, you said if they have a purpose it's not slavery. So no, I said, well, no, if a human being has a purpose. Look, I said, look at the purpose. What yeah. is the purpose of animal slavery? First of all, looking at the whole industry behind it. Yeah. Calling them slaves would say if basically setting the slaves, slaves free, what would happen to the animals? Would they be able to support themselves? Would they be able to feed themselves, gain a living? Look Probably not, but that's what guardianship is, isn't it? Yeah. But then what would you do with these animals afterwards? I mean, you're going to be... I mean, that's, oh, a, that's another practical oh, issue, oh, though. Oh, no, because it's all part and parcel. No, but that doesn't tell me in principle whether it's slavery. You're, just, you're, you're you talking got, about yeah, practicality. What you've got to look at is the whole picture, not at one small part of the we picture. We can talk about what we would do with all the animals and all of that. It just doesn't tell me what I'm asking on this sign, because I was trying to keep it on point. Because right. there's many different things we could say we need them for protein. Uh, what would happen if we stopped uh, animal agriculture? What would happen to all the animals? These are just practical is issues, not the principal point, whether or not they are slaves first. Yeah. And you kind of, did you agree with that? I, didn't, I don't I know if you agreed with it. Yes, I do agree. Okay, so the, in principle, the way, yes. The way they're handled, the way they're treated... As property. As property. But then... What you've got to look at now is, how would we change it? Okay. How could we change people's okay. views? So why, why do these places exist? Why do these um, industries exist? For, to serve what purpose? So how would we change it? We well, just, that's, sorry, the sun's right in it. That's, okay. This is a dairy industry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there's dairy farms and dairy farms. So why do they exist? Why do dairy farms Chicken exist? Chicken milk for people. For who? For us. For us, yes. So if we start purchasing these pro uh, products, what happens to these places? They go under. Okay. So that's how we change it, yeah? Yeah. But then what will we do with the livestock that's left over? It'll be a gradual phase out. Not everyone's going to go vegan overnight. Mm -hmm. So it'll gradually phase out. We'd stop breeding billions of them into existence every year to kill 
and we'd have less yeah. animals in existence, yeah? Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. But also, you're looking at a lively, livelihoods of people. I mean, okay, yeah. here's, here's one thing. Livelihoods of people. Yeah, as well. But let, let me explain. You know they had this... Uh, do, uh, before no, you finish... On, hold on, hold on, right? I don't want but you to also, go off on a different no, topic, No, I'm though. not going to do that. You know, defining slavery as well, how would you define slavery? I'd say to take someone's liberty off of them so they don't have any bodily uh, freedom. They're considered property. You are owned by someone. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you look at Webster's, they also define it as somebody who is conscious of their situation and able to, via demonstration or other means... I wouldn't agree. Yeah. Have you, read, have you read Webster's... They're saying book? that if you're not conscious of being enslaved, you can't be enslaved? No, that's what they're classing as a slave. But you look at, for instance, the sex trade. Yeah? Do you think Is children can be slaves? Yes. Hmm. But they uh, are... What level of awareness is a child at, would you say, like? From two years old. Yeah. So before they have that awareness, they can't be slaves? They don't understand what it is. Okay. They, yes, they can still be slaves, but okay. they don't understand. Okay, and animals are probably in the same on the same plane of that as Between that, yeah? the ages, you know, depending on the animal, um, for instance, you look at, for instance... I'm sheep trying dogs. to apply that yeah. same logic. You look at, for instance, sheepdogs, yeah? They've got an understanding of a two to two and a half year old child. Yeah. Yeah. And a pig? That's got uh, about the same. About a three year old child, yeah? Yeah. And I agree in part that, yes, the animals are treated like slaves, okay. like property. So they are, they are slaves. So you agree with I this? I agree with that. Okay. But also, but then you've got to look at a bigger picture. Yes, gradually phasing it out. But then, I take it, you're, you're a vegan, yes? Yes. Yes. Which is a life choice for you. Yeah, yeah I feel like it's a moral choice. Yeah. When I, I have the... Freedom of choice, I think, feel like it's a moral choice. Yes, but then also you've got to look at various industries. Uh, you've got people who, for instance, can't get a job or for reasons, you know, can't work. They've got, they're living on less than minimum wage on... In this country you're talking? Yeah. Okay. In the, what we're getting in from the government. Okay. Yeah. Now, being... Are you worried about vegan, people's livelihood if uh, these listen, industries go uh, under? Be, being a vegan isn't really in the picture of what they can afford. Why not? Well, for instance, a friend of mine, he lost his job, he can't get another job even though he's been applying, and he gets £40 a week from the government. £40 a week. So you do think veganism is expensive to eat plants? You look at how much, for instance, various foodstuffs are, I agree then, there are some yeah, products that are expensive. expensive. And when he's... But not all. Yeah, but when you, when you take into the whole picture of all his bills coming out, council tax, rent... Okay. You know, How does he rent, feed himself? Very sparsely. What does he feed himself with? Um, has he got enough money for bacon and steak and cheese? He, just buy, he buys the cheapest whatever he can. Okay, so you know the cheapest foods in the supermarket are vegan by default? Not always. Rice, potatoes, beans, vegetables, fruits... Pasta. Then, yeah, you look at the supermarkets, but then what he does, he goes to a lot of um, markets. Where he gets get cheaper the, fruit and veg there. And also meat. But then also... You know, he, I, would say, I, would, I would argue that meat is more expensive than rice and potatoes and beans and pasta. Depends where you shop. Are you going to get cheaper steak than you are uh, spaghetti? Well, again, it depends where you shop. I mean, you go down to Ashford Market on a Sunday... You uh, can get we're in a practical debate here about yeah. whether or not veganism is practical yeah, for the whole population. Yeah. This is kind of off of topic. Yeah. I, I would argue that it completely is. Mm. And I would argue that the only reason meat and dairy and eggs are, are as affordable as they are is because they're heavily subsidised by taxpayers' yeah. money. Because if that were the true cost of all the resources and water and land that goes into uh, making these the, you know, small amount of calories for all of those crops mm. and workers and transport... Um, that would be an astronomical price, but the government yeah. are subsidising them with taxpayers' well, that, money. That is true, but then if the whole country went vegan, even over the next ten years, yeah, yeah, what would be the problem with that? You would lose. You would have a lot more people who haven't got a livelihood. So this is the livelihood argument. This is why I wanted yeah. to stop you there before. I wasn't trying to be rude, yeah. but I've heard this so many times. You know, um, when they abolished slavery, what would mm -hmm. happen to the slave owners that were getting them to pick the cotton? That was their livelihood. 
Yeah, they had to pay a wage. Do you think that justifies slavery? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, why does it in the animal context? So that, uh, it's okay if you. I'm, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find. Question, a, I'm trying to yeah. see if you're logically consistent. So I'm putting it the same context mm -hmm. for humans because it's easy for us to understand human slavery because yeah. we're human. But when we put it in a different species, we sort of our logic becomes contradicted. Yeah, I mean, it does a bit. Yes, but if you look at it from a I mean, how can you? But like, can you correlate an animal like a cow? Yeah. To a human being? Yes. How? By all the things that we have in common. Sentience, we, we both want to live, they mm -hmm. suffer, they feel pain, they value their lives, they don't want to die. Okay, so let's say for sake of argument, we lose all, you know, we, everybody goes vegan, yeah? Then we're going to have worldwide billions of animals we discussed this. Yeah, we'll need, we'll need phased to, out. Yeah, but phased out. So what are you going to do? Cull them? No, we're going. They're going to phase out. So you, we, people are going to gradually stop eating animals. Yeah, so they're going to gradually stop breeding them. With, yeah. But with the animals, which you know, that's left over, they're going to be no use. What? Well, that, that's a pretty bad argument for, for in moral in a moral sense because someone has no use to you. That means we should what 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 no. should we just let them live based on the fact that they're no. sent in? Like no, a lot of these people saying, have no use to saying that. I mean, for instance, if a cow we, we could look it, after them in sanctuaries. Right? Do you know what happens if a cow isn't milked regularly? Why are they pregnant to begin with? No. Nature, Who did that? Nature? Do you think the no, dairy industry relies you, on nature? You know, you know what I mean by, you know, that. Uh, well, well I, I know what you're saying, yes, and I'm, I'm jumping one step ahead of you, mm -hmm. because we forcibly impregnate them. The reason they produce 12 times more milk than naturally is because we've selectively bred them to produce that much milk. Yeah. So if we stop that process, that, co that covers that problem as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. That, you know, in the way that the animals are, tr are treated are... As products, as property. They're treated disgustingly. I, I've seen footage of the way animals in this country and other countries are... Well, this is all, uh, this is all 2016 and, yeah. and, and just before that, it's pretty recent in the UK. This is called Land of Hope and Glory. Yeah, I've, I, I have seen this. Mm. And the way, I mean, for instance, you look at this. Yeah. That is horrendous, about how, these, how animals are treated. You, then, you care about animal welfare, yeah? Well, yes, I do. Mm. But um, not animal use, like not animals being slaves, you don't... Like, if they, were, if they were treated well, like, do you I, think... I would need a lot more convincing, because, I mean, yes, you've chosen to be a vegan, right? Yeah. I like my Sunday roast, yeah? I used to as well, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I like going, well, yeah, having a bacon sarnie. Do you feel like a part of your culture has been taken from you, so part of your traditional way of eating, and you feel like that's close to your heart, and that might be taken from you if you choose to go vegan? Yeah. Part, yeah. Partly, yeah. I'm going to talk about the fact that you like eating meat because this is a... Uh, well, I used to love the taste. Mm. Do you think that sensory pleasure justifies what we do to animals for food? Sensory it, pleasure alone, like... It all depends on how, again, they're treated and how they're cold. I mean... Is there a right way to kill someone? No, there isn't. But... Thanks for being honest. But, yeah. But then... You know, you look at, say, some abattoirs, and I have seen footage, and I've directed footage for it, that um, some stuff that was taken that wasn't allowed on British TV. I agree um, there are worse ways to kill... Okay. And a good, still, a good 60% of abattoirs in this country will hang, for instance, a cow upside down and slit the throat. Yeah, they bolt gun them first, usually. A lot of them don't. Yeah, sometimes what's, the bolt doesn't work, but for the most part... What isn't... What they say and what they do... They've got to bleed them out somehow. Yeah. Hmm. But a lot of them don't use... Don't use Let's just the say they did... What, what would you say is the best way to slaughter someone? I've never actually thought about it myself. Yeah. yeah. I've, yeah. Honestly, I've never thought about it. Yeah. Do you think there is a, uh, a good way of doing it? Like... I think the most humane way would be something that would destroy the brain instantly. I guess there are worse ways to kill someone. You could torture and kill them first. You could also make sure that it was really quick and fast. Mm -hmm. Or you could not kill them, which is more ethical. Well, not killing them. Yeah. But then also, when we're talking ethics, when we go into 
uh, for instance, we now open a whole new can of worms yeah. about the death penalty. It, yeah. <clears throat> uh, would it be right? I mean, you've got, for instance, serial, serial paedophiles. Yeah. Do they? Do, you know, do you lock them away and throw away the key? It's interesting or how we. I, 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 I know it's. It's, 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 it's interesting okay. we treat animals worse than we do serial pedophiles and murderers. I think they should be treated. Treat, I, I, They're innocent, and we murder them by the billion. Yeah. And serial pedophiles and killers and things like, and you know, they're they they're acting so much more immorally than a pig yeah. ever has. I've done more wrong in my yeah. life than a pig has, and they're treated like the worst criminals on earth. Do you think that's justified? No, it's not. Yeah. I've got aim mean, for murderers and paedophiles. I have no time for. Yeah. And I think I mean, the Americans have actually got the best idea which is chemical castration, which stops all that sort of feelings so for, for them. You're talking about criminals, you know, yeah. like people that have yeah. hurt others. Yeah, and, but we're going back, you know, go back to yeah. animals. Yeah, but like, what I have they done to deserve what we do to them? What us humans yeah. do to animals? We enslave them, we kill them, we torture them, we take their yeah. families, we split their families apart. Yeah, but do they realise this? I don't know, do they? You care, you care I'm, about animal I'm, welfare? I'm, I'm, I'm asking Why do you care about animal... You're the one who posed the question, and now I'm asking you... Do are they, they aware of it? Are they, are they aware of it? Do yeah. they realise it? Well, here, I'll ask you a question in response that will help you work it out for yourself. Mm. You care about animal welfare. Why? Why? Because I don't believe any creature, whether it be human, animal, or what have you, should be tortured. So you believe animals can suffer? Yeah. So you believe they're aware of their suffering? Yeah. So I believe they're aware of it. Okay. But have you read the stu any studies that prove that they are aware, for instance, of be your statement of being taken, split up from their families, split, you know, and things like this? Their, ba their behaviour would show that. So cows pine for their young? Have yeah. you seen that on dairy? On the, yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, what do you think that is? But then also... You don't think that's suffering? But or? then you could also turn around and say you know having a family pet is is the same it's slavery I would say it depends on the context um, well, when, when you no, no going by what you, your last um, statement yeah they're taken away from their their, their family yeah it's, it depends they're, on the context they're, so they're, they're held in a place that they don't know yeah whether it be a dog they're taken so out you're talking about dog breeding you know, dog breeding you know, yeah. cat I, I, I think it's not vegan yeah dog breeding yeah. dog breeding and but, that's not vegan but, buying dogs isn't vegan but is it wrong to have a family pet? Okay, so it depends on the context. I'm going to give you the, the context where I believe well, it's no, vegan. I'm, I'm asking you the question, yes or no. Do you well, it's not a yes or no, yes. It's not a yes or no well, answer because yes, yes, there's different contexts. Well, let me explain to you. Okay, okay, well, as a vegan, the most vegan thing to do is to rescue dogs from a shelter mm. that would otherwise, otherwise be euthanized. Okay, yeah. and you rescue them and you offer them protection. Because if you let them roam free, what happens to them? They go to a shelter and they get euthanized. Yeah. So the best op option we have is to rescue them and offer them sanctuary. Okay? Do I think buying dogs off a breeder who's breeding them to make money and exploiting these dogs and then having them... No. And do I think, in principle, domestication of animals should exist? Mm -hmm. No. But we're trying the best to deal with the problem that we've created as humans. And the best thing we can do is rescue animals from shelters who would otherwise be murdered. But then, again, I'm asking you again... That's having, different to having, eating a having, burger. Having a family pet, do you think it is wrong to have a family pet? It depends on context, and I just gave you those well, contexts. No, it's, a, it's a simple yes or no answer. Do you think it's wrong to rescue an animal from a shelter if that's no. going to be... Out? Okay, no. that's the vegan way. I think it's wrong to buy it. So there's two different so you're scenarios. You're telling me that, say, you're married, you've got kids, yeah? You wouldn't go to a shelter... And rescue get, an animal. Rescue an animal and keep it yes. as a family pet... Yes. You would. I, th I, th I think that rescuing an animal is the best option they have, otherwise they get euthanised. Yeah, what would you rather? That I agree with. That's the, be the most yeah. vegan option we have. I, I've, I've had dogs all my life and all of them have been rescue dogs. Yeah. So, but uh, breeding dogs is a different scenario. I would say that's immoral and that's exploitation. Yeah, I do agree with you there, that is. So that's it's why I'm immoral. saying there's two different contexts, yeah, so it depends on the context. Problems. Yeah. I mean, then also you've got to look at why people have got a, a family pet. First of all, you've got you know, people like me who will get a rescue dog, you know, cats, and use it to help teach their children, you know, responsibility of animals and about, you know, how not, you know, how to treat them correctly. Yeah? And not bolt gun them in the skull for a burger. 
it depends if you like burgers. So if you're feeding your, your children uh, burgers at the same time, are you treat, uh, teaching them animal ethics? I try to, yeah. So, so you're also, teaching them animal ethics, yeah, but you're feeding them a minced up animal. But then, also, you've got to, you know, you can only, you, they get to a certain age where they make their own decisions. Yeah, but you make the moral decisions in the house until they're, they're old enough to, yeah? Yeah. Do you think it's a moral decision to uh, buy exploited, killed animals and, and feed, feed them to children and then also teaching them to treat animals well? If you put it in that way, that is wrong. But then also, you've got to look, for instance, where people source their meats. Yeah, from a slaughterhouse. All, all, you agree all meat comes from a butchered animal from a slaughterhouse, yeah? Somewhere along the line they've been slaughtered. Somewhere along the line they've been slaughtered. Whether Against their be, will, would you agree? Again, yeah, you're trying to twist everything I say. No, I'm not. Tw I'm not really twisting your words. Mm. I'm finding out whether you're logically consistent with your ethical position. Well, in, in two factions, yes. One, I do. I, you know, you holding two do. belief systems at the same yeah. time that contradict each other. I, well, I think I enjoy my meat. I've been brought up with it so was all I. my life. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, so was I. Yeah, and I haven't had a convincing argument. On yes, I agree that we've, we have places like this, but then I make sure that the meat I get, I don't buy meat from supermarkets. We already talked about this yeah. though. You but said that animals can't be killed in a good way. Yeah, that it can't be moral. I know, so but again, it's also down to my own personal choice. Like with you, yeah, you say you've, it's you've personal. Said, do you think? Yeah, whether it's it be, personal, whether it be veganism, veganism, vegans, yeah, I can't even say the word veganism, whether it be vegetarianism, whether it be killing animals yeah. for food. Do you think that's a personal thing? There's a victim involved. You know that, yeah? yeah, obviously. Yes, I do. How can that be a personal choice? It's a personal choice to buy the meat and eat the meat. But, but there's yeah, someone else involved there, bro. What would you prefer me to do? Go out to a game reserve and kill my own meat? I'd prefer you just didn't kill animals if it wasn't. 100% necessary in any context. Just, just one quick question. There's, uh, I spoke to this woman a little while ago who, she calls herself what's referred to as a, an occasional vegan. That doesn't exist. Well, apparently it does. If you, no, it doesn't. Uh, you Google it. She doesn't know what she's talking about, that's to be that's that's completely that's honest. That's what I said. Yeah, because if you're anti-racism, Mm. You're always anti-racism. Yeah. You don't have racist free Mondays. You don't have yeah. veganism's a philosophy on it's an ethical position. Mm -hmm. You either hold it or you don't. Yeah. She can I be plant-based some of the time and mm. eat a plant-based diet, but she can't hold an ethical belief some of the time. You're either anti-abuse or you're not. Yeah. I, I, that's this is what I said to her. But at the end of the day, I do still enjoy my meat, whether it be sausages, whether you know Sunday roast or what have you. So. So just to clarify, you believe it's immoral to, and there's no good way of doing this, you believe it, that animals no, can be I victims did, of I slavery? I, I, what I said was that and, you know, you've got to prove that animals actually understand the whole concept of slavery and what they're going through, well, which you, 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 know, you, you haven't, you haven't done. That. Yeah. You, you, you agreed that animals value their life, yeah. they want to live. Yeah. They're sentient. Well, they feel pain. They suffer. They yeah. they desire. But then also we go back to you know how they how they're slaughtered, whether it be humane or inhumane. Is there a humane I mean, way to kill someone? Yes. You, you in what context? Well, you look at say for instance the, the the U.S. For instance, um, quite a few states in the U.S. still hold the death penalty. Yeah, but that's a different scenario. Then they they they've committed a yeah, I know, crime. I know, Animals I know, haven't. We're looking at it, for instance. So there. someone that doesn't want to die, who's not a, you know, mass murdering criminal. Like an innocent animal. Yeah. Is there a humane way to kill an innocent animal that doesn't want to die? Do they understand the concept of you know if they're going to die or not? Some it? children don't. Is that does that yeah. then you know exonerate you from murdering children because they no. don't might not understand? No. So. No, but you still haven't answered the question I asked. What was your question? Would, would they? Would the, would the animal, for instance, a pig? You ever tried to kill aware? a pig? They try to avoid the knife, don't they? You right. So they have a desire to live. Would you let me finish what I was saying? Thank you. Are they aware of the whole situation? Yes 
or no? I would say if they are, if you're trying to murder an animal, they would be aware that there's danger and they'd have to avoid that danger and they'd, they would be fighting for their life. Yeah, 100% yes. And the science is on our side with that. I don't think, um, you know, animals are just walking objects that don't have any feelings or, or wants or desires or try to avoid anything. Like, of course, of course animals desire their life. Right. Don't you, don't you think the same thing? Yeah, I you do. You ever try to kill a dog, hurt a dog? They cower, they run in fear. They remember, you abuse a dog, they remember the next day, they remember for life. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they're aware. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a dog and a pig? Like, you know, you abuse a pig, they're aware, they know. You know, I think that we view animals so lesser than us that it just justifies this murder and we tell ourselves lies about. They do. They, I do agree with you there, they do. You know, people do say, you know, they tell lies about. They lie know, to themselves to make yeah. themselves feel better, you know? Yeah. Do you think that's honest or consistent? Or I'm just trying to get to the, to, to, to where you just, at least agree that it's wrong, even if you're not changing. Yeah, I've, I've already said that I agree it's wrong. Yeah. Okay. But, again, how would you change... We talked the, about this. Yeah. How, yeah We're going around in circles. Because no, 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 no. you're saying, yeah, we'd phase it out, but how would you start changing people's minds? With this conversation right here. Mm. But most people, when they talk, talk to you, it won't Do the in. same thing. Yeah, they just go out and go. They try to find them. excuses and. Yeah. But not everyone. Most mm. people look at this objectively. Uh, not most. A lot of people look at this objectively. They open up their heart. They look at it and they go, "That's wrong. I don't need to do it. So why do I do it?" Yeah. But then give them a week and they're back doing it. Not necessarily. The vegan movement's growing very big, very quick. There was twelve thousand of us marching on Saturday through London, yeah. shut down the streets. I know. Okay. So we're not going away. This is an issue of justice. It's mm. not going away. You know. And I see, see compassion in your heart when, I, when, you, when we show yeah. you this. And I don't think you're a bad person, by the way. Mm. You know, I think that you do care about the, the welfare of animals. I just think there's a lot of contradictions in what you're saying, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of it and trying to help you see yeah. them as well. I, I do agree with a lot of what you're saying. Yeah. I do agree about the inhumane way they're treated, the inu inhumane way they're killed. Yeah. What we can't agree with is that there is a humane way to do this to them. No. I mean, well, I won't agree with I, you on that. I don't think there's a humane way. Okay. Well, then we do agree. Yeah. All right. I appreciate the conversation, mate. Yeah. And, you know, uh, just trying to get to the bottom of everything with you. Yeah. Just your personal view on, you know, how you view animals. And I, I do appreciate you sitting here for so long. And thanks for being respectful and honest. Here, let me give you a card here. This is our Land of Hope and Glory. This mm -hmm. is what you're watching here. Yeah, I have seen that. Cowspiracies to do with the environment and health as yeah. well. On the back here is a little challenge you can do on Facebook, it's free. Vegan challenge. I tried, I did try it, but I, I lasted about three days. Well, <laughs> they will help you with what to eat, where the good stuff is. UK is one of the best places on earth for vegan alternatives. Mm -hmm. You just got to know where to look. Right. Cheers, brother. Much. Thanks for the conversation, mate. Yeah. Take care. All right. You're no, out. Yeah, you're, we're out, mate. Thanks, yeah. brother. You're allowed to leave. Yeah, it was, it was nice, it was nice chatting. I've got to say, I've interviewed vegans before. And you were interviewing me there. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I know. We can a question each other. XBBC. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I've, I've interviewed a lot of vegans who break down, literally break down under cross questioning. Yeah. And I'm impressed you didn't break down. Oh, that's because I feel like veganism is mm. consistent. So it's very strong. It stands on its own two feet. But if people don't know how strong and consistent this ethical principle is, they might feel pressured and not know how to answer you. Yeah. But yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Thanks, brother. Nice talking to you.